Assalamu alaikum dear all. Welcome to Educate in Lead. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create timetable in Word 2013. So in order to create timetable, first you have to open Word 2013. So let's start. You can type in the search bar Word or Word 2013 and you will see the word is on the top. Or you can pin it on the taskbar so that you can quickly open your document. So here I will click on this Word 2013 and Word window is appeared. Here you will type blank document in order to create a new document. Or you can press Ctrl N from the keyboard to create a new document. So this is your new document. Here I need to create timetable. So for this I will insert table from insert option. This is table. I will select rows and columns to create a table. So I am inserting here um, 10 columns and 8 rows. So I need one more row. So here I will click on this. So here I have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 rows and I have 10 columns. So first I will merge these columns. I will select these columns and then right click select merge cells. So now the columns are merged. Here I will merge these two rows. So again I will select and right click then merge cells. In this Merge in these merge columns. I will type periods or classes and here I will type days Sorry Here I will type Days of the week or simply days. So below days you will type days of the week like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we don't need this last row. So here I will select right click and delete cells and delete entire row because we don't need this row. So I will delete this row. Here I will type periods like first period, then second, third, uh, then we have a break of the third period we will have a break so here I will again merge these columns this column and rows so again I will right click merge merge cells and you see that here the rows are merged now so here I will type break you can type like this then after break, we will have fourth period, fourth, then fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So these were the periods and days. Here I will mention the subjects for these days and these timings. Or you can here you can uh, tie the timings also. Like first period timing is from eight. To 8 30. Then the timing for a second period is 8 30 to 9 9 a.m. And for the third period, the timing is 9 sorry, 9 to 9 30 a.m. So this is timing for the third period. Then we will have a break from 9.30 to 10 a.m. And again, the fourth period will be started from 10 to 10.30 a.m. Then there will be a fifth period from the timing 10.30 to 11 a.m. Then we have sixth period from 11 to 
eleven thirty. The timing for the second, uh, sorry, seventh period is eleven thirty to twelve, and the last period is from twelve to twelve thirty. So these were the timings for these periods. Here we will type the name of the subjects. For all these periods, so on Monday we will have first period of, let's say English, then second period Urdu, then we will have Maths, then we will have a break, and then in fourth period we will uh, study, uh, uh, let's say Islamiyat, then Science, then we will have Drawing, then computer science and last will be social studies so these were the periods for these classes for monday and for tuesday again we will have same periods so we we can just copy and paste these in the rows below for select control c and control v for paste here again we paste it paste here again we will paste it and for saturday we will so we have the same period for all these days again we will uh, paste all these subjects again below so first we will select sorry so first we will select and then control c to copy and then control v to paste this text again we will paste below you just need to copy one time and you can paste it on all these rows below control v thursday control v on friday we will have fourth period only so we uh, here we will type just islamiyat and then we can write it islamiyat and here we will have leave so this is the timetable you can create in Word 2013. So uh, here we can change the font size, we can change the colors, uh, or we can make any changes we want. So first I select the whole text in this table. So can I can change the font size. So this is how to create font size or your text size. You can also change it from these numbers. Then we can make this text bold or you can press control B from the keyboard to make your text bold. And then you can change the color of your font or text. Let's say I select here uh, green or blue. So this is how to change your font color. Or you can change the background color of this text from this option from this bucket. You can change the color. You can select light color or any color you like. So here I select this color. Or you can change the color of a single row or single column. Uh, like if I want to select the color of this row, first I select this row and then I select the color. So I select this. Um, it's very difficult to choose the color. So I choose green. Then I change the color of this cell. Again, I will select this bucket and let's say I choose yellow. So <laughs> this is how to change the color of your font or the background, background of your cells. Uh, you can change it from the home tab. So the next thing, uh, I want to make this text in the center, move this text to the center. So I will select this text and choose center alignment. Now you can see that all the text is now in the center of this cell. So uh, this is how to So this is how to create timetable in Word 2013. You can make any changes 
uh, from your own choice. So that's it for today's video. I hope now you are able to create a table, timetable in your document. So till next videos, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.